first video since I got my new haircut. Not that it's anything special, I just lobbed off like four inches. <laughs> hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, we are gonna be doing the why haven't I read that book tag. All right, before you get into anything bookish, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below, as well as tell me in the comments, what's a book that you've been meaning to read for so long and still haven't gotten around to? I feel like everybody has a list of books that you know, you've been wanting to get to it you plan to, you know you're gonna love it, but for some reason you just, you haven't picked it up. Yeah, we're gonna talk about those. <laughs> Seeing as how this is a tag, I was tagged by Silke at the Danish Readaholic, and I'll put a link to her video in the cards up above, as well as in the description down below. However, this tag, I can't find the original of. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some more searching, and hopefully if I do find it, I will put a link to that in the description down below. Jumping right to the questions though, why haven't I read this classic? I don't tend to read a lot of classics. I have, there are definitely some modern classics that I like a little bit more, but even still, that's not something I pick up very often. However, the one that I knew I not only had on my digital TBR, but also on my shelves was The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. So this is actually this adorable little bind up that my mom found for me. It includes The Hobbit as well as the three books in The Lord of the Rings. I want to read these but they also terrify me, partially because I'm still new to the higher fantasy world, but also because I've heard Tolkien is really verbose and really drags things out, and I'm not sure how that's gonna go for me. All it was was a bunch of people walking. Here's the first movie. And here's the second movie. You ready for the third movie? I used to pride myself on the fact that I was a nerd who had never seen Lord of the Rings, but then my brother finally forced me to watch all of them, extended edition, and I got it. I finally understood. I did get really sucked in. I mean, hell, I named my cat after a character. I'm very hopeful I'm going to love these as a book series because I really enjoyed the movies. And I am a character-based person and I've already fallen in love with the characters there, so hopefully that love can kind of transfer over when I'm reading the book and maybe that'll encourage me to keep pushing through if things start to drag, but I'm not really sure. Really, the reason I haven't picked this up is because again, Tolkien's writing, it scares me. Next question, why haven't I read this fiction? I honestly don't read a lot of literary fiction. It's, it's pretty rare that I do. I tried when I was brand new to booktube, but I just, I don't tend to love those books nearly as much. I love character stories, but I suppose I want something more there to really drag me in, transport me away. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's just not a genre I read a lot of, but I do have a few on my TBR still. The oldest one when I was scrolling through looked to be What's Eating Gilbert Grape, and I, I don't remember who the author is. I think I added this to my TBR probably off of like one of those 100 books to read in your life lists, but also because I had heard a lot of people love the movie when I was in middle school and I had never seen it. So I was like, oh, I'll read the book first and then watch the movie. You know, it's 15 years later and I've done neither of those things. <laughs> Do I have an excuse? No, not really. It's just, again, a genre I don't tend to reach for ever. So will it happen? Someday, maybe? Next question. Why haven't I read this nonfiction book? There were a few I was debating on here because there are some that have been on my own TBR the longest, some that have been on my digital TBR the longest. I decided to go with one that has been on my digital TBR for quite some time, but I also owned. So The Feather Thief by Kirk Wallace Johnson. I think I initially heard about this from Lana and Lana X Libris, and it's supposed to be a true crime heist story. Uh, Beauty, Obsession, and the Natural History Heist of the Century is the subtitle, and I'm still very interested in it, though I will admit, my grandma took a little bit of the wind out of my sails because I thought this would be something interesting that she would enjoy. And she didn't finish it. She told me the writing is so dry and so boring. I have no clue how this is gonna go for me. I do know my, my library has the audiobook, so if necessary, I could always rely on that. But again, after hearing my grandma's review, it made me a bit nervous. <laughs> Next question. 
Why haven't I read this genre fiction? I ended up going with Tiny Pretty Things by Sonia Chariputra and Danielle Clayton. This I bought, God, at like a Barnes and Noble closing sale at least two years ago, maybe three years ago, and it still hasn't gotten read. I picked it up because it's supposed to be about a dance school and I was a dancer in high school with then like I know about all of the politics that goes on there. I think it's technically a contemporary, but it does have some mystery elements going on and probably some thriller elements too, maybe. However, I'll be completely honest, the fact that it's a YA and I'm not 100% sure on what to even classify this as has made me more hesitant about picking it up in recent years since I bought it. This was definitely one of those. I had it on my digital TBR for quite some time and never got to it. Saw it on sale at Barnes Noble and was like, okay, sure, this will encourage me to read it. And even still, it's unread three, four years later. So um, will this ever get read off my shelves? I honestly don't know. I think it's already been turned into a Netflix show, so worst comes to worst, I guess I could always just watch the show. <laughs> we'll find out about this one together sometime in the future, probably. Next question. Why haven't I read this book that has been on my TBR the longest? And on this one, I specifically was looking at my own TBR. I think I actually bought this book at that same Barnes & Noble closing sale, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I'm terrified to read this because I've heard it's so emotional. It's such a punch in the gut. I think it's specifically talking about grief. I think over a child losing his mother. Anytime I've ever seen people talk about this book, they say how much they cried. And I'm a crier, so it makes me nervous, even though it's not that long. I've heard phenomenal things. I used to love sad books. I really loved sad books when I was in high school. I probably should have read this back then. <laughs> I actually don't even know if it was out when I was in high school. It was. I should have read this back then. That would have been prime time for Nat <laughs> to read. But it's still sitting on my shelves because, again, I've heard a million positive things about it. And I know this version is illustrated, so it's, it's even more gorgeous. It has these little pieces in the margins. I need to read it. It's been on my shelves for so long, but it makes me so nervous. Hype me up in the comments. Maybe maybe that'll make me finally get this off my TBR. All right, and that's it for the questions, but this is a tag, so I must tag a few people. Let's go with Robin, Michaela, and Ray. I'll put links to all those wonderful ladies in the description. Highly recommend following every single one of them. They are great. And on that note, thank you so much for coming to my channel today, y'all. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a bird emoji in the comments. I have all my socials as well as a few ways you can support me linked in the description. I come out with videos on Monday and Friday, but until then, I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Love you, bye!